was just so overwhelming. The first major tip that we had received in 51 years, and it was so exciting. I, I just can't explain how exciting my chest burst for joy. A reunion between mother and daughter, 51 years in the making. It took the family that long to find her. Now an investigation is underway that stretches from the south to the Midwest. Natalie is back with this incredible story. And Nat it really is. The Highsmiths never gave up hope of finding their daughter. They chased every lead for decades until last week they finally found one that worked. It was just a mixture of joy and terrified being terrified and excited and just trying to understand, you know, make sense of everything. That is Melissa Highsmith now. This is the missing persons flyer that was circulated when she disappeared in 1971 after her mother's roommate handed her off to a babysitter. At 22 months old, Highsmith was never seen by her family again until now. We never gave up hope looking for her. After taking a DNA test to connect with other family members, Highsmith's biological father says he and his wife discovered grandchildren they never knew about. That could only be one reason for that. That's Melissa was the mother. So when we got that news, we were so overjoyed. Once Highsmith was notified, she reached out to the woman who raised her and heard something shocking. When you were a baby, I bought you, she told me, off the street for $500. The Highsmiths believe the woman who took Melissa raised her. Fort Worth, Texas police are investigating the case, even though the statute of limitations has long expired. There has been 51 years stolen from my family from Al to her mother and from her brothers and sisters. One of the Highsmith, one of Highsmith's sisters, I should say, lives in Illinois and she plans to travel to Texas to meet Melissa for the first time this Christmas. Corey. Mm, what a story. Thank you, Natalie.